The way that we produce baby formula hasn't changed in the last 40 years, despite this being a $50 billion industry. Parents today are looking for a product that offers the same health benefits as real breast milk. Helena is a biotechnology company developing what it calls the world's first nature-identical infant milk. Laura, how is Helena disrupting the infant formula food industry? So we are the first company to recreate the proteins found in breast milk. Our goal is to bring the immunity that we find in breast milk to infant formula. So we take these proteins that we make and we use precision fermentation, which allows us to teach yeast how to become little manufacturing hubs and produce these human proteins. And we combine our human proteins with all of the other vitamins and minerals and important nutrients that baby needs to grow. What was it in your history that got you interested in solving this significant challenge for infants, but then beyond for broad nutritional categories? So I'm a food scientist by training and just a food person. So I've always felt like my mission is to feed people and really what sparked this idea for Helena was years ago, I was listening to a podcast about the black market for breast milk. And I learned that parents go on the internet and buy breast milk from strangers. And they're really looking for immunity properties and the benefits of breast milk in products. And they, they can't find that. And so seeing alternative dairy and alternative meat and all of the investment that we're putting into technologies to make these products taste better I thought, well, can we take these technologies and not just make our food taste better, but make our food healthier? Laura, how does the precision fermentation technology work? So with precision fermentation, we start with yeast. And yeast is an incredible microorganism that kind of turns into a manufacturing hub to make the proteins that we target. So we've programmed our yeast using CRISPR. We then ferment it. We give the yeast sugar and all the nutrients it needs to ferment. And when it ferments, it starts to spit the proteins out of the cell. And these proteins are what we can capture, and they're identical to what's found in breast milk. And the existing infant formula on the market is short of some of those nutrients, or is it actually already satisfactory and you've just improved upon it? We are improving upon it, but none of these formulas use human proteins. And so the proteins that are found in breast milk, they're designed for humans. So they're easier for us to digest. They also help to build our immune system. They teach our body how to fight against infection. And that's the first time as humans, we learn how to fight against things in our environment. So these human proteins bring another dimension to infant formula that hasn't existed in the past. And so have you been able to measure already the benefits to the early immune system in young infants? So that's what we're working on right now. Before we get into infants, we use cell-based models. So in our lab here in New York City, we've got an immunology room where we do all of the testing. We take our proteins, we test for anti-inflammatory properties or you know, these different types of functions that they would have in baby. And so that's really our first step right now is to understand how our proteins measure against what's found in breast milk. Is there a customization opportunity uh, by gender or ethnicity or background for infants or is it sort of one size fits all? That's a great question. I wish that was the case. The biggest challenge when it comes to making this product is Infant formula is the only food that requires a clinical study. And so just like making a drug, you need to gather a whole cohort of participants. You need to run the study. It's pretty intensive and it's important because it allows us to test all of these properties. But if you wanted to customize an infant formula, you would need to run a clinical study for every single kind. I see. Um, and while it's something that we're very interested in, it's definitely part of a longer term vision as opposed to short term because of all the back work that goes into making these products.